This uh, video looks at how to configure the settings for the um, learning templates feature in Tiny MC Editor in Moodle. <coughs> First of all, you got to configure the Tiny MC Editor. So go to your Moodle and search for Tiny MC E, and then go to the Editor Toolbar setting. Grab this configuration <clears throat> and insert it into the editor toolbar setting. This will add the um, template button to the Tiny MCE toolbar. Next, we need to put in the custom configuration, which is going to reference the um, HTML. <clears throat> and you'll note here that. Um, the custom configuration is only providing placeholder template HTML. You need to create your own and reference it um, wherever you like. Um, that could be within your middle theme, for example. So here's the custom configuration code. So I'll just go ahead and copy that. <coughs> Paste that in there. Next thing we got to do is go to a different setting, which is additional HTML within head. Um, and this is going to reference um, the um, font awesome CSS. So if we go down to additional HTML, there's the reference. We'll grab that. And we'll put that within the head. So um, I'll just go ahead and save with these changes. Tiny MCA configuration changes. <coughs> and the additional HTML changes. Okay, so we want to be able to style the icons. So um, with that in mind, um, we can go to the um, appearance, themes, and turn on theme settings. Okay, that's going to ensure that um, our custom styles are going to apply follow through. And in this case here, I'm using formal white. <coughs> So um, I have a uh, here custom CSS, which I'll just copy. And include in custom CSS. So now if I go to um, my course, this is an example label, um, custom custom label, uh, and I choose, actually no, I'll just go to the main topic again, so now I can go add activity or resource, label, add, There's the button and there's the HTML. Now this is very important um, because I've just put in some placeholder um, references to HTML pages. They're external to Moodle. So you get the security uh, um, warning. Um, as you can see, I'm using Internet Explorer. So I get a warning if I was doing this process in Chrome, I wouldn't even get a warning. Chrome would be blocking um, accessing this information. So um, I've put in some instructions for you to um, go ahead and look at the um, Tiny MCE uh, um, uh, mapping um, syntax 
And I would suggest, as I said, you put your HTML pages into your Moodle template, for example, and then you won't get the security warning.